healthy habits among others can lead to health problems. Ako po si Kuya Kim at samahan niyo akong tuklasin ang iba't ibang uri ng sakit, their risk factors, and what we can do to reduce our risk of getting these diseases. Ang insulin ay isang hormone na produkto ng ating pancreas na nagsisilbing susi upang makapasok ang glucose sa cells at magamit bilang enerhiya. Ang kakulangan ng insulin ay tinatawag na diabetes. Ito ay merong iba't ibang uri ng types. Ang type 1 diabetes ay kung saan hindi nakakagawa ng insulin ang katawan. Maari itong mamana. At mas mataas ang risk of having type 1 diabetes kung merong family history ng sakit na ito. Ang type 2 diabetes naman ay nangyayari kapag kulang ang ginagawang insulin ng katawan o kapag nire-resist ng katawan ang insulin. Ang diabetes ay isang chronic illness at kapag hindi na-address ay maaaring magdulot ng pagbabago sa katawan, kagaya ng pagtaas ng kolesterol at obesity. Ang diabetes ay maaari ding maging sanhi ng problema sa kidney, paglabo o kawalan ng paningin, at sakit sa puso. Ang mga karaniwang sintomas ng diabetes ay ang madalas na pagkauhaw at pag-ihi, panlalabo ng mata, mga sugat na matagal gumaling. Ano nga ba ang kailangan gawin kung merong diabetes? Narito ang ating eksperto, si Dr. Vergara, para sagutin nito. Ang taong may diabetes no, uh, has an imbalance with his energies. No? To treat diabetes, if you're overweight no, or if your BMI, body mass index, is more than 25, try to bring it lower no, to the 21 to 23 uh, area. Iwasan ng sugar. Sugar is a little addictive, no? but you have to somehow try to break that uh, addiction. Keep away from simple carbohydrates, white rice or white bread, all of which that when taken, immediately turns into sugar for the use of the person. And uh, sugar will turn into energy. No? So if you need energy immediately, the simple sugars will help. But if you eat too much of the simple sugars no? and uh, you don't use that energy right away, you will have a spike in, in blood sugars. Exercise will do a lot no, to take your, your diabetes on a road to recovery because what it does is it uses the sugar, the excess sugar that you accumulated. When do we start taking medication? You may have to talk to your doctor about that. Makakatulong din ang pagkakaroon ng healthy and balanced diet at ang pag-cut down sa mga matatamis na pagkain o pag-iwas sa mga high-fat foods. O galiin ding mag-exercise araw-araw para masiguro na ginagamit ng katawan ang excess sugar. Gawin ang mga ito at sabayan ang pag-inom ng isang certified organic drink like Sante Barley na gawa sa pure organic young barley grass with stevia. Taking barley grass regularly can help decrease the risk of diabetes and manage your glucose levels. This is because barley grass has magnesium which is a co-factor of many enzymes involved in insulin secretion and glucose metabolism. It also contains dietary fiber which helps slow down glucose absorption and helps lower blood sugar levels. Mainam din na magpatingin sa doktor upang ma-check ang inyong risk of having diabetes upang malaman ang kalagayan ng inyong overall health. Laging tandaan, mahalagang alagaan ang ating sarili so that we can live more and do more. I'm Kuya Kim and I'm on grass.